Hi, welcome back. Today let's learn how a non-return valve works. So let's see the components of a non-return valve over here. So this is the puppet over here. As you can see the puppet. This is the seating portion. And you can see a hole over here like a cylinder. Then we have the spring in tension. And this is the body. Which, is, which has the thread and which will be connected towards the valve block. So let's assemble it back. So the spring. And here the puppet will be going inside. The spring like this and it is in tension so you can see the spring is in tension so I need to exert a pressure to keep it closed like this okay so this is how it works see how simply it moves I'm exerting a pressure over here which allows it to move and its its pressure is going back towards the puppet with the help of this uh, spring which is in tension okay so a non-return valve is allowed to make a flow in only in one direction it's, that's why it's called a non-return valve. So here we have the pressure acting and it will vent the pressure back towards this direction. Okay, so here the pressure comes and here it will vent it. So if I have more pressure over here, it will close the puppet and this gallery will accept the oil coming from this direction and take it away. Okay, but if I have a lower pressure over here and a lower pressure at this section, what happens is that the tension will push the puppet back and close the gallery. So this is how a normally a non-return valve uh, stands. Okay, so the pressure comes here, hits here, closes it up and it travels in this direction. And if the pressure reduces over here, it will actually move back, okay, and closes it. So that's how simply a non-return valve uh, works internally. I believe you like this video. If you like it, please click the like button or do drop a comment. Thanks for watching.